Hello and welcome to another Cincy Shaves. In today's shave, I will be showcasing Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements 11235. It's a very nice shaving soap. I really like the smell of it. And it's meant to resemble, I brought the, I got the big bottle here. It's meant to resemble 4711 Original Cone wa Cologne Water. And that's, <laughs> okay, that's, um, is that a liter and a half? 27.1 ounces, whatever that uh, adds up to. It's a little better than a liter, isn't it? Well, anyway, moving on. Um, to get this lathered up, I am sticking with my Omega Bore brush. And wow, I opened that up and oh, it just got the, ah, oh, so good. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that's been soaking, but uh, I'm gonna leave some water in it and do that same type of lather that I did yesterday. It looks very, very wet. I'm gonna add even more water. It looks like it's gonna be impossibly wet. And then you just keep going. And then you have a very, very, very good lather. And I'm not really pushing into it to get it way up into the bristles. I'm kinda trying to keep things on the, uh, on the tips here. Because once it gets way up into the bristles, which it will anyway, but I don't want too much up in there. It's hard to kind of clean out. And uh, look at this soap. Watch this. You can't see it, can you? Yeah, I'll try it right there. Look at that. I'll show you in a second with my hand. Did you see that? Still sticking. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, let me put the lid on this. I have plenty of lather on that brush. Put some hot water on my face. Again, I have done my hot water routine on my face already, but uh, the intro and everything has, it's dried, so be right back. Okay, dry my hands real quick. Well, how are you? I hope you're okay. I hope you had a good weekend. I know I did. This needs water. Ooh, did you see that? Soap's flying everywhere. We got no food, we got no job, pets heads are falling off. I used to love that movie. Dumb and Dumber. Okay. Wilder tote, tote. Wilder soap smells great. It does not taste good. Wilkinson Sword Classic Razor. It's plastic with no overhang on the sides. The blade is totally covered. And you, you go like that to open it. And that's the blade from yesterday, the, the Derby blade. So that's a second use on that. And uh, I like this razor for the fact that you don't have to make sure that everything is lined up. It just does it on its own. And uh, the plastic handle here does have some weight to it. I guess there's some metal in that. Okay. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements 11235 Soap. Here we go. I just realized I forgot to show you my facial hair growth compared to, you know, my, my one day of growth compared to fresh, you know, clean shaved. 
right directly after I shave. I'll, I'll do that again tomorrow. I did pick up a clip from yesterday's video with me going like that. So, shout out to my son for that when he showed me how to, he showed me how to, how to do that. So, thank you very much, Ethan. The Ethanator. This weekend was my weekend to get him, but I didn't get to get him because we had this 25 year celebration at church with a bunch of churches coming together and just a lot going on. And he would have been bored off his guard. Okay. That's this is how I get under I know that looks funny when you do that, right? You look like a woodchuck or something, some pig or something, but that really flattens everything out there so that you can shave right down it. I mean I know it looks funny, but hey it works. I never have hair right there. And I see people that miss there all the time. I see people that miss there all the time and they just want to like shave it for them. So I have to quit looking. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I'm going to stand straight up here. Um... Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Anything I've ever ordered from them. Always arrived like early, like a day early. Or even more. They give you with every order, a bumper sticker that states, I'd lather be shaving. I don't know, I might put that on my car. I'm not a bumper sticker kind of guy, but I just might. Anyway, they give you that, they give you a business card. You can tell that they care about, it always arrives in nice condition, you know, they, they care about what they're doing, they do a good job. And while I'm not keen on the club guy scent of the soap that I have, the soap works great. It's not a bad scent, it's just not my favorite. That said, this is very nice. I know I'm goofy. Okay, well pass one is done, and I will be back in a few seconds for pass two after I clean up while having paused the video. Okay, we'll get lathered for pass two. I'm just painting now. Don't have. There's no whiskers to, you know, work it into. You just get it on and get on with it, right? Don't want to taste it. Okay, for the back pass.
still waiting for some shave den tours and I'm not seeing them I'm looking I'll continue to look until I see them and then I will I'll watch them until then I will remain uh Hopeful just sounds off. Anticipatory. I don't like that either. You get what I mean? I can never get this right. There we go. <laughs> Boy, we had a rainstorm come in today. Holy cow, I hadn't seen rain out like that in a while. And it just poured for like 10 minutes straight. Watched it come in on the radar. I knew it wasn't going to last, but wow. It was crazy. We needed the rain though, holy cow, we needed the rain. <laughs> this soap is so nice. When you shave it away, you think it's done, no? Nope. A little bit of water, it's slick again, very slick again. Time right quick. I've decided, even though, and I did get myself in that spot again, even though these are shorter videos, I am going to do that whole fast forward thing when I'm not talking. This is not a canvas, and that's not a brush, and I'm not Bob Ross. So I'll just kind of do a shave and tell you what I thought. I don't want to bore you to death. Okay, it's time for the post-shave routine. All right, I have rinsed. It is time for some witch hazel. As I have mentioned before, any witch hazel will do. everything on the sink so I don't have to keep going back. <laughs> this is the stuff from Kroger. Some of it has, not this, but some witch hazel I think has glycerin in it. Some is scented. Some, uh, some of my commenters have mentioned that it comes mentholated. I've never tried that. That sounds wonderful because I love menthol. I don't know about you, but I love it. All right, let that dry for a second. All right, nice and dry. Not gonna go with my mentholated 4711. 
which I did pour half of that out. For those of you that maybe don't know, I, I, I don't know, I tried to mentholate my own. I bought menthol crystals, I mentholated my own fragrance, and it put too much in, and it was just like burning my eyes. It felt great on my face, it was very cold, it was very nice. I poured half of that out and just filled the rest with with regular stuff and I haven't yet to try it but I'm I'm pretty sure I got it right <laughs> all right well here's the 4711 oh, that's very nice ah oh, well, that's so good more lemony than this at first, and then it'll what wear down. It'll wear down, and it'll smell. If you spray it on your clothing, it'll actually resemble the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements One One Two Three Five. I don't know if that has anything to do with this. I tried to do this before on on camera. Tell me what you think. So we have forty seven eleven. Okay. One, one, and two is four. Four. Then the four plus the three would be seven. Now I got 47. And then seven plus five would be 12. So is this kind of like 47, 12? I don't know, right? So is that what they intended for you to figure out? I don't think so. I bet that's some kind of an address, right? But I don't know. You you tell me. You tell me. Okay. And then finally, the um, drugstore brand unscented lotion as a bomb. It's the CVS Beauty 360. I got tired of paying balm prices. Let me show you what I mean. This works just as well as a ball. And I have 10 ounces of it. It's essentially the same thing. It's essentially the same thing. Versus, okay, so 10 ounces, $3, $4, right? Three ounces, three point three ounces, five to six dollars. Yes, it has a nice kind of light polo blue smell to it. But that's ridiculous. Why would I do that? Plus it has a scent. So if I'm gonna wear that with 4711, it it's gonna change it, whereas that doesn't. I can smell my 47 roll. It's great. And 4711 pairs perfectly with this. I was not very nice about this at first because it's not, not an exact, open that and smell them next to each other. It's not exact, but they, once you let that dry down, it does pair with this very well. They are very much, very much the same after that. Mm, and then once you put 4711 on, the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements 11235 smells so good after, after you put that on. Oh my gosh. So again, this is the, it's a very slick soap. As you saw, it's very creamy. It builds a lather very easily. I've used every, I think, well, no, I guess I haven't, but I've used most of my brushes on this and it worked great. She's very good, and that's the that's the star of the show. That's what my focus was today. So, well, I hope I hope you enjoyed, and I got to thank you for watching. Um, got some new subscribers. Thank you, um, and welcome to the channel. Um, what I always say at the end of every video is happy shaving, and take care.